guys, welcome to the construction site on uh, Tuesday, October 10th and uh, I can see the guys are here starting to work on the uh, formwork for the ceiling on the garage. Alright guys, so this i has been uh, out for about a week or so and it's beginning to rust on the surface so I bought some primer to paint it but first I got a wire wheel on my angle grinder. We're going to take the rust off and possibly the scale from the foundry so that it has a nice uh, surface uh, paint to grab onto and we'll prep it for paint. So the process of removing the scale is pretty slow and uh, if I get tired with the wire wheel I'll probably switch to a, a flap disc with uh, grit paper but let's take a look. As you can see, uh, it comes out. The scale comes off pretty nicely on the sides, but not in the middle. So for this, I'll probably try the flap this paper. So let me bring that and let's have a go. All right, guys. So I got a 120 grit sandpaper flap discs because you can see this uh, wire wheel. These wire wheels, it's just a twisted up wire and it doesn't remove much uh, material, just takes off paint or scale or whatever is on the surface and you can see there's a nice uh, surface texture on here. Whereas this will remove material so I chose a high grit so that it doesn't remove much and I don't leave burrs in the beam and I'm going to try this out and see how this goes. This, that's just fine. Let's see how long the paper will last on this. Okay, so with the flap disc it goes much faster than the wire wheel and but it also removes the texture but I guess it doesn't matter because this will be painted on anyway so I think the faster method is better.
right guys, so I switched over to a 60 grit sanding disc. Turns out it works much better. I was worried about leaving burrs or uh, digging into the metal too much. As it turns out with the 120 I have to press harder on the disc to get the scale off and that causes then the uh, disc to dig into the metal and leave uh, like flat surfaces, like very polished uh, look. And you can see the marks also of the grinder. And with the 160 I just put the disc down under its own weight. Under its own weight it removes the scale and uh, leaves this uh, forged texture. It's pretty good, I think the, uh, the paint will stick better to that, I don't know. But uh, the 60 does the job faster, it's easier and all around much better, so I recommend using 60 grit for this. Alright guys, grinding is done. I used up about three flap discs for this. And uh, yeah, it's not easy. I don't think this is the best way to go. I'll figure out if it's really necessary. I'll try painting uh, on the other beam. Uh, just on top of what it is. And compare the results. Wow, I'm all in uh, metal dust. Anyways, uh, I'll go get some paint and we'll uh, prime this uh, while it's still fresh before it has any chance to rust or rain or stuff like that. So this is like a grey primer paint, it's very thick, I'm guessing during, a, well it's going to dry out, it's going to form like a very smooth surface, which is great for me. I have to make sure it penetrates all the little dimples that's in the steel. Thick the paint. Alright guys, the top of the beam is painted, uh, I'll do the rest when I flip it over, but now it's time for me to go. I got to uh, pick up the kids from kindergarten and uh, yeah, time to leave. So thank you guys very much for watching this really short episode this time. The guys are inside and they're taking apart the uh, formwork from the ceiling and now I have to go to cover up the beam once the paint dries before they leave today. And uh, yeah, I hope to catch you guys soon. Bye.